how to make a man chase you. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get a guy to pursue you and put effort in without playing games or being manipulative. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. Okay, so I'm assuming you don't want a man to chase you just for the sake of chasing you. You want him to pursue you for the sake of getting somewhere, for the sake of building a relationship with him. And maybe you know, at least if you watch this channel or you read my content on A New Mode, then you definitely know that a man can only develop feelings for you and wanna invest in you if he has the space to pursue you. And maybe you feel like you're the one who's always doing all the work in your relationships and you want that to change. You just don't know how to make that happen. Once upon a time, I was great at getting guys to chase me. I knew how to rouse their interest and capture their attention, but I could never make it stick. And the guys that I really wanted always either ended up ghosting me or dumping me. Now, why is that? It's because I was playing hard to get. I was very good at creating the illusion of being this confident, high value woman who a man had to pursue, but that wasn't who I really was. It was just a facade. And soon enough, my true, insecure, needy self would come bursting out and would scare them away. The point is, it has to be authentic. You can't just follow a bunch of steps to make a man chase you. I mean, yeah, you could, but then you'll end up how I used to be, where guys chase you and then they leave. You don't want that. You don't want to just get a guy to chase you. You want to become the type of woman that men want to pursue, that men want to work for, that men want to put in effort for. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. So make sure you watch this video until the end. Real quick, if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to turn on notifications. And for more content, make sure to follow me on Instagram at a new mode. Now, I also wanna add, if you're watching this video, it's most likely because you want to better understand a man or and how to capture a man's attention. You wanna know not only how to get him to desire you, but how to get him to be really into you and how to get him to put more effort into you and into having a relationship with you. If that's what you want, I have good news. Me and my co-founder of A New Mode, Eric Charles, created a whole system that teaches you exactly that. It's called Make Him Want You Bad, and in it, we reveal deep secrets about male psychology and how to use this to your advantage to not only get him to want you, but to want to put effort into being with you and to want to make you a priority and devote himself to you and only you. You can download it right now, or you can download it when you're done with this video. You can get it at makehimcraveyou.com, and I will include the link down below. Okay, onward. Let's talk about how to get a guy to chase you or pursue you, whatever language you wanna use here. Number one, love your life. The key to getting a guy to be interested in you is to be interesting. It's really as simple as that. There's nothing interesting about a woman who is just desperate for a boyfriend and just doing whatever it takes to get a guy to commit to her. It's important to have a lot going on in your life and create a life that he wants to be a part of. No guy wants to be the sole center of your universe. That's not a role he wants to play. And a lot of women treat relationships like that, like this guy is gonna save them from something. This guy is gonna plug that emotional void she feels inside. That's not how it works. You have to enter into the relationship already feeling happy and fulfilled. Sure, you can want a relationship, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you need one, when you feel like you won't be okay until you have a boyfriend, then that's a problem. That's a needy mindset. And the needy mindset is the opposite of a mindset that gets a guy to wanna chase you. Part of loving your life also includes having passions. Everyone is drawn to a passionate person because it inspires us to pursue our own passions. And that's what makes life feel so rich and fulfilling. When you pursue your passions, whatever your passion may be, it makes you magnetic. It doesn't just make you a man magnet, it makes you a people magnet in general. If you have something you're passionate about, do more of that thing. If you don't have a passion, then find something, experiment, see what lights you up inside. Maybe it's cooking or baking or painting or learning to play a musical instrument or learning to speak a new language or writing or reading. Whatever it is, you'll know it when you find it. When I say have a full life, this doesn't mean that you have to be going out all the time and go, 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 busy, busy, busy. That's not what it means to have a full life. It really is just about tapping into that passion source. I mean, for me personally, I remember when I was writing my first book, he's not that complicated. I was so connected to my essence and my passion because it just felt like I was doing what I was put in this world to do. And no man could have competed with that at that moment because that was just giving me so much fulfillment. So like, I wasn't leaving the house. I wasn't running all over town, having this fulfilling life. I was doing something that really activated me and lit me up inside. And I think it was that period of my life when I became most desirable to men. And that is usually the way that it works. Number two, let him pursue you. Now this one seems obvious, but 
but yet it's not because my inbox and my DMs is flooded with questions from women who are doing all this work and all this chasing and putting so much into a guy who hasn't put in anything back. And they're asking me, what else can I do to get this guy to want me back? And the answer is nothing. Step back and let him pursue you. If a guy is interested in you, all you need to do is exist and he will pursue you. That's it. You don't need to strategize. There's nothing to do. Give him the space to come to you because he can't chase you if you're standing right there, if you're hovering right on top of him. And if you do give him that space and he doesn't pursue you, it just means that he's not into you. He's not, or he's not into you enough to want to take this any further. Maybe you guys have a cute little flirtation going on. Maybe you have great banter. Maybe you enjoy each other's company, but he's not really taking it beyond that. That just means that he likes flirting with you. He likes hanging out with you, but he doesn't necessarily like you enough to want to be with you. And there really isn't anything you can do about that. All you can do is bring your best self to the table. And if he's interested, he'll bite. Trust me. And I'll reiterate, you do not get a man to like you or invest in you by pouring your all into him. Now, it sounds like this would work in theory, like, okay, I will give and give to him and show him how amazing I am. And then he'll realize that I'm so great and he wants to be with me, but that's not how it works. If anything, if you do those things, you're just setting yourself up to be taken for granted and to be a doormat, basically. I'm not saying you need to be cold or aloof or mean. I'm saying just exist. Just exist as your best possible self. That is literally all you need to do and give him the space to pursue you. Stop working so hard to win him over. And one more thing I wanna warn you about is a lot of women fall into what I call the passive reciprocation trap, where she's doing all the work and he's he reciprocates. So she feels really confused about where he stands. For example, she'll text him and he'll always answer and he'll always engage in the conversation. Or maybe she'll ask him to hang out and he'll accept and they'll hang out and maybe they'll hook up or whatever the case may be. But he's not doing anything to pursue her. Basically, if she stops reaching out to him, she'll, she feels like she'll never hear from him again. And she feels very confused by this because she's like, well, he always answers me when I text him and he hangs out with me and he hooks up with me. So obviously there's something there. That's just because he kind of likes you. He enjoys hanging out with you, but he doesn't like you enough to want to do anything about it. So that's why he's just kind of being very passive about the whole thing. Because if you reach out to him, he's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll hang out with her. Why not? She's great, okay, cool. But if you're not reaching out to him, he doesn't have that burning pull towards you. And that's why he's not really taking anything further. So the point is, step back, let him pursue you. This will let you know where he actually stands, how he actually feels, so you don't waste your time on a dead end. Number three, stop trying to win him over. This ties into the previous point, but we need to talk about this in a little more depth because a lot of you are guilty of this one, and I'm not shaming you here because I used to be the exact same way. This one is really about a mindset shift. It's a shift from thinking that you're not good enough and hoping that this guy doesn't realize that you're not good enough. So you need to put on this whole show in order to win him over. You're basically placing him above you because you think he's better than you. You don't really think that you deserve him. So you feel like you need to work so hard to win him over. And you're just kind of hoping that if you do all that, he won't realize that he's actually better than you and can probably find someone better than you. This is a toxic mindset, but it's one that so many of us have. This feeling of just, I'm not enough. And that manifests as, let me show you how great I am. Let me show you what a great girlfriend I could be. Let me show you all the things that I'll do for you. And you work and you work and you work to get this guy's attention, to get him to want you and like you. It's not even so much about him. I mean, yeah, I get it. You might really like him, but it's also a lot about you because you're gaining your sense of worth based on how this guy feels about you. If I can get him to like me back, then maybe that means I'm worthy. When you try to impress a guy in this way, and when you're coming from that needy mindset, it just comes across as desperate and nothing can spoil a spark like the stink of desperation. This will just cause him to lose interest and either ghost or dump you or just completely lose interest and everything just falls flat. You have to stop engaging in this mindset of, does he like me, does he like me? And instead focus on, do I like him? Is he good enough for me? Does he have things to offer me to enhance my life? That's what you should be focusing on. I get that maybe deep down you don't really believe this. Maybe you do believe that he's so above you and he's perfect, but shift your focus anyway. Redirect your thoughts as many times as you need to so that you're not coming from that needy, desperate place. And instead you're coming from a more empowered place. You wanna be a chooser instead of a chaser. 
you want to be the woman to choose him rather than the woman who's chasing after him. When you're with him, stop analyzing your own behavior so much and his behavior and what did he text and what did he respond to this? And you know, did he make the first move? Did, did he kiss me back as passionately as I kissed him? Stop all the analyzing, just be present, just be there because he can't connect to you if you're not there, if you're just engaging in the worried thoughts in your mind. Number four, be a little mysterious. A little bit of mystery is just fun and alluring. Again, this isn't manipulation, this isn't playing games. This is giving him some space to work for you, to work to get to know you, to figure you out. The human mind loves a good mystery. I mean, think about the binging phenomenon with Netflix. With Netflix. We just get so enraptured and caught up when we just don't know all the details and when we wanna know more and we fill in the gaps and we try to figure it all out. That's just a natural human tendency. So when you're not giving your whole self away to him, it's gonna make him wonder. It's gonna make him try to fill in the blanks. And this will, this will get him to come to think about you a lot more and to pursue you with more fervor. Maybe you think it'll just make life easier for him to just be super accessible and easygoing and show up at his door whenever he summons you. But this is not what makes a guy pursue you. Because like I said, he cannot pursue you if you are standing right there, if you are right in front of his face. It's important to be a little unavailable, a little inaccessible, and a little mysterious. That means you don't have to share everything right off the bat, right away. You can leave your answers a little short, a little vague. You can leave that space for him to ask more questions, to learn more about you, to keep peeling back the layers of that onion. Discovering someone is, is exciting, it's intriguing. I know that a lot of women have this tendency to just talk and talk and talk to just prove who we are to him. You know, you wanna show him that you're fun and you're funny and you're interesting and you're smart and you have a lot going on and you have a lot of depth. And how is he gonna know all this unless you just tell him? You gotta just spell it all out for him because otherwise how is he gonna know? This ties into what I said before about winning a guy over and working so hard to just prove yourself to him. This is just desperate behavior. So try to notice when you're doing it and cut it out. Number five, use your walking power. If you are a regular here at A New Mode, then you know all about walking power. Walking power is not saying to him, you better treat me right or I'm gonna walk away. Walking power is a mindset. It is an internal belief that you carry with you. It is a belief that says, if this situation isn't what I want, if this guy isn't what I want, if he doesn't treat me right, then I'm okay with walking away. This is the opposite of a needy mindset, which feels like I need to cling on to this relationship for dear life because if he leaves, then it means that I'm worthless and I am just gonna crumble into a pit of despair and I am never gonna be able to get over it. That is why needy people are so gripped with fear and anxiety because the outcome of their relationships carries so much significance. I mean, if a guy leaves, he's gonna take her whole self-worth with him, so she has to hold on to him, there's a lot at stake. You have to realize that there isn't really a lot at stake. Okay, he's a great guy, you like him, he has a lot of great qualities, but if he doesn't want you back, recognize that there are tons of great guys out there. And those guys are probably even better suited for you, or at least you'll find one guy who's better suited for you because unlike this guy that you're stuck on, he's gonna wanna be with you. He's gonna want the kind of relationship that you want. I know it doesn't feel like that in the moment. It feels like he's the only guy in the entire planet and if it doesn't work with him, then you are just gonna die alone. You have to mentally bring yourself off the ledge here. You have to conquer that fear. And the way to do that is to just keep telling yourself as many times as you need to that you will be okay. You you were okay before him and you'll be okay if things don't work out. And you know that you are a woman of high value and if you aren't a woman of high value or if you don't feel that you're a woman of high value, I have a video on how to become a woman of high value so definitely check that out as well. But you need to remind yourself that you are a woman of high value and if it doesn't work out with him, it just means that it wasn't meant to be. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you and you'll find someone else. When it comes to your relationship with this guy or whatever you have with him, you can enjoy him, you can be interested in him but do not be terrified of losing him. Number six, if he says he doesn't wanna be in a relationship, believe him. Now, a lot of YouTubers have merch lines and I don't have one and don't really plan on having one, but if I did, then this would be the first t-shirt slogan that I make because I feel like I use this line more than any other and it's one that I want you to burn into your brains. If a guy says he doesn't wanna be in a relationship, believe him. The way that women end up in these situations where she's the chaser is that a guy says he doesn't wanna be in a relationship right now, 
she takes that as an opening offer that's like up for negotiation. And she thinks if she works a little harder and tries to prove herself to him, then she can change his mind. That's how she ends up becoming the pursuer, becoming the chaser. And the guy just sits back and enjoys the benefits of having a girlfriend without the responsibility of the commitment and actually having a girlfriend. If he says he doesn't want anything serious, if he says he doesn't want a relationship, if he says he's too busy, if he says he's too stressed, or gives you any other excuse as to why he doesn't want to be in a relationship, and if what you want is to be in a relationship, then you have to walk away. And it doesn't matter if he acts like your boyfriend and it feels like he practically is. He isn't your boyfriend until he's your boyfriend. Now, if this guy actually likes you, when you walk away, he's not gonna just let you go. He'll come after you, he'll pursue you, and then the tables will completely turn. But nothing's gonna change if you just stay there and keep shoving yourself down his throat, hoping that he'll one day wake up and realize that you're the love of his life. Number seven, be a high value woman. Really, all relationship success comes down to this one concept. It is about being your best self. It's about recognizing your value and recognizing your worth. Men don't chase needy women, they chase high value women. So that is really what to focus on more than getting him to chase you. And the secret to being a high value woman is to simply decide that that's what you are. It's your decision. It really comes down to your perception of yourself and that is completely in your control. Yes, it's not easy, it will take some work, but it is within your control and that's the important thing to realize. You determine your worth. It doesn't come from external factors. It doesn't come from how many people follow you on Instagram or comment and like your pictures. It comes from you. It comes from you deciding who you are. This isn't always easy. I totally acknowledge that. So fake it until you make it. If you act like a confident high value woman, that will penetrate and you'll become that. Just acting like it and going through the motions can just change the way your life unfolds. And this will change the way you feel about yourself and the way you think about yourself. A good exercise here is to just ask yourself, what would a confident woman do in this situation? Would a confident woman tear herself to shreds because a guy ghosts her or decides he doesn't want to be with her? Would a confident woman stick around in a relationship where a guy says he doesn't want to be in a relationship right now? Would a confident woman bend over backwards to please a guy even though she can't really tell how he feels about her or if he cares at all? No, she wouldn't. When you reframe things in that way and ask yourself that question, it becomes more clear. And then you'll know the right way to act in those situations. So decide right here, right now that you are a confident, high value woman and start acting the part. So that is my pretty quick overview of how to make a man chase you. But if you wanna go farther and deeper and really understand how to attract a man, channel his deepest desire for you and make him want to fully commit to you and only you, then check out our Make Him Want You Bad system. You can download it right now at Make makehimcraveyou.com and I will link it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at a new mode, and I will see you in the next video.